The question, one of the questions I get most often I come across, or even a concern, is, is tech worth pursuing? Is it as lucrative as it was a year, two years ago, especially cloud tech, now that AI has become popular? Right, things like ChatGPT, right? Things like BARD. My answer as a professional technologist is that absolutely tech careers are still lucrative. Why? Because AI has been around since the 1940s, believe it or not. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, right? That's the for science nerds. But to play, pay, paint it simple for you, AI is basically an intelligence that's, that calculates math and data. And with that math and with that data, it creates an output. That output is an image that you see, it's a paper that you want written, it's a book you want written, it's a formula that you want written, etc. right? So that output can only exist because it already exists for one, all right? So that means there's no room for AI itself to create anything organically like a human being can, right? So it only knows the answers to problems and solutions that already exist, all right? Hopefully that was a little bit simpler, simply simply put enough for you to understand that first part. The second, the second part portion of it is that when working in tech, been a cloud engineer myself, officially now a cloud architect, and I've had meetings where we've talked about chat GPT and other AI tools. Well, we've been using AI tools for a long time in tech already. You have things like Visual Studio Code. You have things like Prometheus, all right? Um, they, uh, when it comes to AI itself, like chat GPT tools, all these, consumer friendly AI tools you're seeing. The problem with integrating them in tech infrastructure is that there's a thing called proprietary information. All right, because in order for AI, the commercial products of AI to exist within a business infrastructure, it has to have access to the infrastructure, all the information in the inf the company's infrastructure, and then all the information to the public internet. That's where the security team is gonna pay you a visit via chat. <laughs> so no, they're like, there are so many AI tools out there and there are so few AI engineers and there are so even fewer engineers who construct the infrastructure for AI engineers to build their software. All of this stuff, you got to think of this stuff infrastructurally. You got to think of this stuff at scale. Um, you got to think of these things at an enterprise level. There's so much that goes beyond um, that goes behind supporting these new trends and tech that you see. They aren't job eliminators. They're actually dev tech tools enhancers. All right? They help developers develop software more efficiently and more autonomously. So, um, yeah. It, and then third point, I want to hit on this before I, you know, I get out of here. When it comes to, uh, if you're going to uh, think that. Well, since ChatGPT here and it's able to print out all these code and write scripts and do all these things that, okay, there's no need for me to even pursue tech because those engineer jobs are going to likely be gone. For starters, as of today, literally check today, uh, what is it, April 30th, 2023, I literally went on Indeed and that's just one job site and I typed in uh, cloud security engineers and literally 22,000 jobs popped up. All right. So that's 22,000 jobs. Anyway, um, so if you're going to my, my whole point in saying that is that if you're going to think that any tech software that comes out is going to uh, is enough to deter you from pursuing tech, then don't pursue tech. There's uh, all the other type of career fields you can go into, other type of trades you can go into that don't require a high level uh, college degree to earn, to earn lucrative salaries. Don't get into tech. You don't have to get into tech. You know, it's not illegal for you not to pursue tech. But for those who are resilient, those who see these tech software tools as tools, 
and we'll use them as such, you're gonna do extremely well in this in this industry because you can persevere um, and you cannot you can you can get you can develop tunnel vision to focus on the task or project all the way through until completion, regardless of what the market is doing. So that's my advice for you all. Be cloud engineers, ask me more tech, cloud tech, big up. Wow.